Got the brand new replacement master cylinder. It's aftermarket, but I got it from IPD, and it looks to be a nice unit. The first thing we do is we're going to prepare it for. I'm going to I'm going to pre-bleed it before installing it. So I got to take those plugs out. Then I have to go up here. There we go. Find the right ones. Okay, there's one. Yeah. And you screw in, you need a couple nipples. Okay, we got both of the uh, nipples installed. And these nipples, what we're going to do is run hoses up and into from each nipple the reservoir. First, you unscrew the cap. Then you pull out this little, uh, it's a filter, because you don't want that in the way, and you set that aside. So with the fittings installed on, on the two ports, and the cap taken off and the strainer removed, I went and purchased this siphon hose. And I bought it because I was really needing this size hose, which is like a 5 16 hose. So I'm gonna cut this and feed from here into the tank and here into the tank. And then I'll show you the next steps. I, the next step is I'm gonna move this to downstairs to my vise, put it in a bench vise, and then uh, fill it with fluid and pump it to fill the reservoir and uh, fill the chambers in the master cylinder and bleed it as much as I can prior to installation. So the next steps, you gotta connect up the hoses and you just press it on. You wanna get a good airtight seal, so you wanna go several barbs in. And then it's gotta go in here and you want it to go as close to the bottom of this reservoir as possible. So I make sure I cut enough hose to do that. And I'm still leaving some hose for this siphon to work, I guess. Um, and then I put the other hose on the other side here. And then uh, I get, gotta make sure this one goes all the way in as well. And now they do have a tendency to wanna pop out. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is connect the two of them together with a, with a small uh, cable tie. Cable tie, cable tie, how you are the apple of my eye or something like that, anyways. When you connect them together, their chances of coming out are reduced. And I want these down in there nice and tight. So now, I have the tubes in all the way to the bottom of the reservoir. They're connected when they're over three or four of the barbs. I guess I can push this one down a little further. There we go. So now we're well sealed. Um, now we're gonna take it down, we're gonna set it in the bench vise. And once we set it in the bench vise, we're going to uh, we're going to clamp it like down here or here somewhere, nice and firm, and then I'm going to press on this uh, with, using a um, a drift. I'm going to push on that and pump and cycle until I'll fill this with fluid. Sorry, I'm miss I'm getting getting ahead of myself. Fill this with fluid, and then I'll push in to the center of here with uh, an, a, a big center punch I have and that will cause the fluid to cycle and hopefully i can keep doing it until there are no bubbles that's the plan so i've got the master cylinder secured inside my my bench vise and i have this large punch to help me press it in. Now I'm gonna fill this reservoir with fresh brake fluid. I could use a funnel, but I'm gonna be daring and try to do it without it. The key to this is you're gonna actually actuate the brake master cylinder using the punch, and you're gonna press on the back and uh, basically pump 
fluid through the system until you rid the system of air. And in this case, it took us, so I don't know, six, eight, ten pumps, something like that. And I had to refill the, uh, the, the, the tank, the reservoir tank, and, uh, until I was satisfied that the, that the bubbles were no longer coming out. And I believe it's now effectively bled. We've bled the master cylinder because both these hoses are well above the level. So the next thing I'll do is take it up and uh, install it in the car. And I'll leave it just as is until I'm just about ready to uh, hook the new lines up. Come out. Idea is I don't want much to come out if I can help it uh, because we, we don't want to put a lot of air into this system because we still have to bleed it now i'm going to use the power bleeder to bleed it once we do so that's coming up thank you